Hello, I'm Dr. Jennifer Nato, Associate Professor and Equine Extension Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Connecticut. And this is Lucero, one of our riding horses. I'm also a member of the HorseQuest Community of Practice, and Lucero and I are here today to invite you to our upcoming webinar at 7 p.m. on December 18th, Eastern Time. I hope that you will be able to join me at that webinar. Have you ever heard the phrase, stop horsing around, or quit that horseplay, or told that to your kids? Well, horseplay usually does not result in injuries to horses, and it's actually vital to the development of locomotor, aggressive, and reproductive behavior. Horseplay serves a variety of adaptive functions, including enhancing general musculoskeletal and cardiovascular fitness, practicing and honing specific survival skills, and also building social relationships and communication skills, as well as gaining familiarity with a new environment. There are many different types of horseplay. Solitary play is play that a horse engages in on its own. We've all seen horses running and bucking around a paddock or a foal running in circles around its dam. These are both types of solitary play. There is also social play in which a horse engages in play with at least one other horse. There's also object related play in which a horse plays with an animate or inanimate object such as a dog or a ball respectively. We will also talk about equine behaviors in our upcoming webinar. Looking now at Lucero, you can see that she has one ear forward and one ear back, and now both of her ears are back. She is in a position of active listening right now, trying to figure out exactly what is expected of her in this new environment so that she can adapt as needed. She is not exhibiting any sort of threat behavior toward us right now. In fact, right now, she's pretty bright, alert, and responsive, as we would say. In the upcoming webinar, we will learn about these and many other types of equine behaviors and also how to distinguish play behavior from threat behavior. We will also learn about the latest research on behavior and learn which sex plays more, which horses play more, wild or domesticated, and we will also learn if objects really stimulate play in horses. We will talk about the purpose and timing of play, and we will also talk about any other latest research that can help you determine why your horse does or does not play. So I hope that you will be able to join us on December 18th. If you are interested in horseplay and learning more about why horses act the way they do, log on to myhorseuniversity.com to view this webinar in its archive form or to register. In addition, if you just want to learn more about equine behavior, you can go to www.extension.org backslash horses. If you would like to find other equine resources, the Horse Industry Handbook produced by the American Youth Horse Council is available on their website, www.ayhc.com. The University of Connecticut will also be hosting the American Youth Horse Council Symposium in mid-April 2013, and will have many equine-related topics, and we hope you'll be able to join us there. So please join me on December 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern for a talk on horseplay. Thanks, and keep on horsing around.